Oh, where's he? Oh. <laughs> no! Hello everyone and welcome back! Uh, we finished chapter 2 last time. I'm so excited to head into chapter 3. Um, I'm very grateful for everyone who has been subscribing these last like few weeks. Uh, it's really cool that you're subscribing and we're on 20 subscribers now. It's so cool and uh, the first video uh, just hit like a hundred views. That's that's amazing. It's I never imagined people would click and actually watch me playing. Um, it means a lot to me, and it's really cool that people are <laughs> subscribing and want to see more. Anyway, chapter three. Um, I don't know what we're uh are going to do but i'm excited i just want to keep playing so i think we should just start let's just go all right new camp you know i think i've heard enough of your opinions miss miss now make yourself useful, and the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaints. Your horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadow and Strawberry Stables. Oh. Why are you fighting? Stop fighting. Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Eh. Stop. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not I am. this. I'm super more? lazy. She looks stressed. My husband With that gold chain. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. Ah! No, both of you. <laughs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? <laughs> so be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. Is that her we saved in the first chapter? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little... Yeah, break. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. Sure. Here's my list, and... Can you post this letter for me? I like her. While you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Princess? Are you coming with me then, woman? Stop it. Women. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your god. <laughs> We're going shopping. Drive to the store. We're going to the store. And we're hunted like everywhere, so this will be great. Yeah, I don't like him either. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, Robin and Killin's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Here. You are something else. I haven't talked to you in some time. We're reading his letter. I would have done that too, though. Wait a sec. 
Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Oh no. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, there. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus. Oop, coming in to your right. What? <laughs> Um, yeah, here's perfect, right? Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So, you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? Be normal. It'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Check the mail. Minimap shows the location to the post office. Okay. I'm gonna go and check the mail. Cause I'm an errand boy. What did you get there, Errol? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Nothing. Let me inside. Thank you. Be normal, Arthur. Be normal. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. All right. This one. There. Okay. No I'm just gonna see my bounty because I'm curious. <laughs> oh, no. 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 That's like all our money. <sighs> no! I thought... I didn't mean to... Well, shit. This one is so... Bothers me. Eh. There, let's um, keep the big one and buy the small one. Pay the small one, I mean. Because we're poor like that. We, we, we. Girl, you look fine as hell. Is that Sadie? Yeah. You have a new outfit. I think this is everything. Fine. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Damn. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Well, Okay. He on, wanted lady. to help. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. Giddy up. So, Giddy up. Get everything. I think so. And some new clothes, I say. Yeah. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I 
Arthur is not good with the, the women. He he loses his ability to speak sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Hey. Hi. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, the I fuck? Don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the what the hell, Sadie? You little shit! Oh my god, I shot them. Oh my god, there's more. Yeah, running over. Damn, girl. You little shit. Die, 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 die. I shot him in the head. I shoot you in the leg. Son of a guns! There's someone behind me! You're still alive? Oh my god. Just... Please die! They ran. Thank you. I'm getting a bit better. Pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm what? I don't want to drive. I can't drive. Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of Oh my god, we had to turn. Sorry. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Dutch? She she doesn't I'm sorry, her voice doesn't suit her. <laughs> your refined conversations but i'd be lying i i enjoyed myself out there yes we uh mrs adler did okay at shopping yes at shopping thank you mr morgan don't mention <laughs> you're welcome i'll ride with you again mrs adler if you will ride with me maybe <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself well they say i lack finesse but i ain't afraid of gun smoke <laughs> We got this, Arthur. Are they flirting? You've done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Shut up. That was fun. Um, let's see. Dutch? Is that Dutch? It's Dutch. Dutch needs to speak with you. To you. <coughs> Sorry. Is it the uh, the in Blackwater where uh, the bounty is so high? Yeah. 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 Oh well, let's talk to Dutch. I'm not going to help Micah. Arthur. Yes. Who called for me? 
Are you the one who called? No. Whatever. I'm busy. Hi, Dad. Oh no, it's Javier. Hi. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to okay, move. Really? That's for sure. Oh, hello, John. Hmm. Where the frick is Dutch? Oh, he's there. Oh no. When is the job, Dad. <laughs> The new south. How you doing, old friend? Um, it's funny. He coughed. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see yes, Dad. Worrying you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society Ooh, in a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. Mm. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. <sighs> I feel like um, they want different things in life. There's a trick around here. I, reckon it's full of I just feel like uh, Arthur wants to settle down and not be a part of this anymore. Um, and Dutch is just trying to get a shortcut in life. Pretty much. To get rich. And live uh, comfortably. Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good a long <laughs> Always dream crushing. What the hell? We're going for a horse ride? Hi, horsey. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Follow Hosea. Okay. We're going on an adventure. Yep. In front of you. Yeah, okay. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Yeah. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before oh. any of them back there, oh, there was a us. Curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Thank Poor you. Charles and me. It's oh. like I can yeah, it was Charles. Thick and soupy as this I didn't do shit. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. What's Make the plan? Money, then find somewhere where nobody will find oh. us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, of course. we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Yes, sir. Start turning over the Dutch has asked the gang to not use weapons or catch trouble up. in roads. We have got to be discreet. Imagine what a Well, I feel like we won't um... be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. We won't be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, we already shot like five people. I don't know if that was in roads. I don't remember that little little town, little village.
So, train robbery? Question mark? <laughs> hello, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, Let's look who it is. Who's Trelawney? How are you, boys? Fine. Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back oh. there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment What scandal. is going on? No, 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 no. Do we I'm know sure some? No. <laughs> he is a magician. <laughs> what no. is happening? He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we? Can we just? Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys. I can't have more scandal. Bye. Well, allow us to help, my friend, Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Are you joking? Discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. I'm trying. Shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Master, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these Train is super fast. Are well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? Ah! No. Did I not say that? You said. Uh oh. You fellas couldn't arrest a blind boy. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I trampled him. Well, my horsey is very, very slow. Why am I have to jump on? Ah! You little shit. Why can't I shoot them? They're so fast. Jump. Jump. What the hell? Jump. I mean, there's an end of this train, so they can't... Uh, Take this! Take this! Oh. Whoops. Just gonna pick up my hat. My beautiful hat. Wee! Down, 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 down. Hi! You little shit. He has a knife. Knife. Ah, ah! But he's killing me. Ah. You sure? You sure? You sure? I shouldn't kill him. I think I killed him. Uh, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. <sighs> so intense. Here's your boy. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? 
I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. Old Anders Anderson. <laughs> a fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. Hmm. You are a natural. <coughs> so can I be a sheriff after this? What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. Thank you. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I would love to be a sheriff you? one day. Oh, no, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Oh. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. Oh. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My Fine people. My for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Road, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Oh. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you are. Well, luckily we're before. helping. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Just helping the sheriff big in these when Dutch parts. told us to west of here. not oh, make any trouble in roads. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Bear left. Dutch F. Oh yeah. <laughs> so no weapons or cause trouble so no bar fights oh horsey sleepy horsey here we are welcome to Rhodes. thank you up there on your left is the Rhodes parlor house parlor Very reputable saloon owned by the gray family oh we also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, yeah, it... station, of course. What more do you need? Uh. Oh, good, they're back. No, this wasn't the town we were in to buy yep. food. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. That's Can a cute sheriff's office. And carry them in for me? That's a very cute sheriff's office. Chop, chop! Don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! Ah. Oh. We got <laughs> Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all... Well, who is that? ...misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Trelon. I to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, thank you. Be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, I want new clothes for soon. Arthur. Excuse me, gentlemen. Should we go shopping? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? Around. Oh, caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins and not marrying and Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. <laughs> it's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. 
Thank you, gentlemen. Arthur is so tired. <laughs> He's like, "Okay, so these two plantation families, Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there." Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good, Jose, Archibald. See what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Mm. Don't think too hard. I don't want to do fishing. Uh, it's not I my need thing. To relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Fishing is not my thing. Mm -mm. Um, hmm. What is this? The Grace. Grace! Um. It's here. This is camp. This is camp. Home robbery. Sean? Oh no. Strauss needs to speak with Toyu. Um. Dodge asks you to sniff around Caliga Hall to see what you can find out about the Grace. Okay. Where's he? Where's he? There you are. Hi! Hi! You're all right, girl. <coughs> Jesus Christ. This is the town we were shopping. We just came from the other side of town. So the grace... Um, Uh, no. Hi. Hello, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. <laughs> he went missing and, uh, now I'm all alone. Oh. Good luck. Is that all? That's, uh, that's okay, too bad. Man, girl. Kevin! Kevin! I thought it was like a... Air is free for you. Huh? What do you mean? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts. Especially looking like you. What do you mean? Are you threatening me, you piss ant? Piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority! The fuck, man? Stop! Ah! You up against real men now. Real men? You're gonna die. I wanna lasso this guy. Can I do that? I can't do that. Frick. Ah! No, that's not my hat. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Sorry, sir. Keep going. <laughs> Gonna just do something. So, where can we put this guy? Um, 
Oh, there's a river over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm weird like that. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down! Unarmed assault? What do you mean? I wasn't even a part of it! Whee! Here's a good spot. So I'm gonna put him here. Gonna loot this guy. Oh, he had four dollars. What? What is that? Bye. Okay, my girl. What is that? Is that a alligator? Alligator. It was an alligator. Holy crap. <laughs> to be honest, he asked for it, so he's probably dead already. But that's not my problem. Hmm. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Me and horses. That's uh, the worst combo. Eat this. Eat this. Let's go, girl. You'll fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Caliga Hall. It's a big house. Huge. What do you want, boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, please. All right, have a word, but I ain't got the time to help you. Blood. Stop pointing the gun at me. Ask around at Kelliga Hall <laughs> to find more about the Greys. Oh. Hi, sir. Sweeping the floor, I see. Question. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Wood store. Wood store. Where's the wood store? It's over here. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> this is beautiful. Hi. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. Arthur, yes. what is happening? We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly there's the a course of true love. Of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. <laughs> looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. Mm -hmm. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Gray Say me nothing. loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for <laughs> your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains. Ooh, but then maybe I'm interested. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter. And this bracelet, please. I guess now we are in postman. Oh no. Bye. Look at this. So pretty. Okay. Let's see. Where we should go? Oh, over here. Great. Yes. Do, 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 do. You can even see the stars. Oh yeah. Hi, horsey. Okay, girl. Let's go on on to uh, to get these lovers together. Yeah, I will. I like how that will come up as a reminder just to be like, please chill. Uh, don't shoot anyone. <laughs> yeah. Just relax. I have noticed that they change uh, the music in every chapter. Um, it's nice. Very nice. Oh, we had to look out for the guards. I think. Sneak past guards to Penelope. Great. I don't even know what this gazebo is. Of course, it's right there. Uh, so we go around. Can I do like this? Okay, we don't have to take that way. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. I'm not good at sneaking up on people. Is he? W yeah, he's using a gun. Crouch! Dee 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 dee. 
Do 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 do. Ooh. Ah. Why is she out in the middle of the night? Can I swim to the other side? <laughs> This was easy. Okay, we're fine. Uh oh. Oh no. Penelope! Hi, girl. Hi. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. Oh. And. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> ah, well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio? No. No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are Difficult. There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't... Whoa. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to I knew me? this was happening. Sure. Sure. Oh fuck! I mean, frick! Oh no! We might be seen now. Oh, we just need to swim over to this island and we'll be fine! <laughs> uh, are we going back? We're not going back. We'll see. We'll see when we escape the area. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah. Leave. Leave! Just leave. I'm just a man passing through. I didn't do nothing. Just delivered a letter. For oh, the lover. Okay. Okay, we're going back. I need uh, guidance. As usual, I need guidance. There we go. Of course, Arthur is the delivery boy. Ha! Ooh. This is scary. Go horsey. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you good, girl? Yeah. 
Okay, let's jump. Whee! It's perfect. No, sorry. Sorry. You done good, girl. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. You're good. Thank you, sir. Oh, I thought he <laughs> the horse would jump over, but he just ran through. And stop. Is he inside? No. Where is he? Is he in here? No, he's not there. Hello? Um, sir? Oh, he's in there. How do I get there? Dee 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 dee. Hi. You got my money? Money. So, did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. It'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Mm. My God. What a woman. <laughs> She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Oh crap. Mount my horse. May main the horse. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Going Come to Rhodes? On. That's a cute horse. We'll go around the property and take the road to Mine's town. cuter. My my girl. I'm faster. Okay, I'm not faster. But he looks like a, a little boy with that tiny horse. Easy boy, calm down. Easy boy. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good yeah. as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Damn. What is happening Damn. here? Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? We must. Leave me alive. This is no matter, sir. Yeah, they're scary. Protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Yep. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. 
We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. Woo! <laughs> Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur. Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Ugh. They'll hear it, all right. Can I eat? No. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? No. Sad that we can't read the signs. We are one. Reason in blood. Head home. Give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Whoa. Take us just a little further, please. Dragging every every mail under one line. <laughs> hmm. Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equal. Oh. Yes, oh. equals are fair <laughs> and equal. Oh. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, mm, yes. Not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Well, I can only Bo. fight. Bo, we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Uh, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all We gotta go before they think twice. Yep. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Cute. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot with voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. <laughs> The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're Deal with. with. Our families, the great great weights. We bury our secrets. And we ah, bury I don't know where he's gonna Treasure. like turn. Treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one seen her in years. She were right, you know. And Penelope said, uh, I, "I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold." But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. I don't know. What is this? This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My <laughs> cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. <laughs> 
As soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, Super I believe so. Rich. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Well, I hope it works out for them. Ooh, thirty dollars. It's nice. Um, um, short episode today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Another episode will be up very soon. Thank you guys for subscribing and watching the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.